Hello guys and welcome to Microsoft Tech Insights, your go-to channel for all things related to Microsoft. I am Sikhar Tabu and in today's video, we are going to dive into the step-by-step -step guide uh, about how we can get a notification whenever a new response is being added in the Microsoft list. So this will help you to get notified whenever a new item is being added inside a Microsoft list itself. So let's jump right in. So as you can see right now I am in my home page of demo site and I'm going to click on this new button and then click on this list. I can start with blank list from existing list Excel CSV or even I can use these templates right for this example. I am going to use from existing list. We can go with any other option. There is no issue to that. Right. And let me choose, let's say in this particular one, I will choose this employee onboarding. Test. And it will be created with employee onboarding test list. This is an existing list. And the next thing what we have to do is we have to click on this forms option. Uh, I have already covered this forms option in one of my earlier video and I will provide a link to that video in the description right and you can see on the top right corner somewhere when I click on new form I will have which are the available fields and the title for my form let's say I have to give it as new form okay I can describe what this form is all about and then all the values are being added the next thing which we want to check in this is under the settings there is a toggle button for notify me and when we hover onto that info icon it says like when you will receive a person will receive an email notification for every new response to this form so whenever someone submit this form we will get a notification let me go and enable this right and if you want to change the submit message when the form is submitted we can add it from here we already covered this in that video okay and uh, yeah the preview is there the changes has been saved like, okay okay so let us just go and copy this link and paste it here and as you can see we are in that new form and let me add the form values let's say this is taste or ipsum whatever you want to add you can do it before joining complete yes completed on let's say tomorrow is mentor mentor is oops i need to give a name as mentor as ygr admin if i want to add this and when i click on submit as you can see the form has been submitted right and if i want i can add another response and if i go into the outlook for this now let me go and open up the outlook.office.com dot slash mail and as you can see i have created that form so i will receive a email you have a new response for employee onboarding test and when i click on this go to item it will open up that test item with data right so let me try to do the same thing with another user so let me just go and open it as guest in, in a guest profile i need to log in so let me just go and log in with one of my traced user And let me sign in. So when I sign in, and now I am adding the user. Uh, now I am adding the data as another user who has not created the form, right? I am selecting the values. Anything I can select right now. That's okay. This is just for the double purpose, right? And let's submit. So when I submit with another user, I should also receive an email in my outlook okay let's just wait for it to come so as you can see there is 
another mail this is first one this is second one and i click on go item i will see the data by being filled in by that another user okay so this is very handy when we want to track when any new response is being added into the microsoft list and we can also track it and check it from the mail itself okay so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it and see you in the next one thank you so much